If you watched my last video, then you will know my top three tips for using Reddit as a video game cover musician. Follow the rules of the particular subreddit that you're on. Uh, pay attention to the nine to one rule and don't post videos on Reddit at all. I wanted to kind of walk through some things on Reddit to kind of show you where I was coming from. So what I have on my screen here is I have uh, my own uh, Reddit user page here. And so you can see all the submissions that I've made and pretty much anyone who goes to anyone's name can see something like this. And so what I wanted to show you was a few examples of each of the three different rules. Apart from just looking at the submission that someone has on their page, what any moderator of any subreddit can do is they can get a certain extension for their browser that will let them see an assessment of that user's submission and comment history. So if I click on this button here, you can see the history for me and you'll see that it shows what domains my submissions come from. And what it, what this does is it kind of highlights domains based off of a percentage, because like I said, with the nine to one rule, you want to make sure that for every one thing you post that's yours, you're posting nine things that are from other people. Reddit's not really gonna know what domain is yours versus what domain is not yours. What they're gonna know is if there's more than 10% of your submissions from any domain. And so for example, you can see that I have 52% of my submissions are from YouTube and so it's highlighted red. And for this wheat and tares, I have 12%, so that's in yellow. So what it's saying is, and any moderator could see this, is that if I'm submitting a link to YouTube or submitting to wheat and tares, then that's just something to be aware of. Like, is that, you know, my own self-promotional material, that sort of thing. And so there's this, fourth little square that's really helpful because it'll show what account are things coming from because YouTube 52% that's you know that could be from a, a number of different accounts but here you see of course that of my 100% of submissions 40% of them come from uh, my own YouTube account so that's you know definitely not in accordance with what reddit is expecting from the 9 to 1 rule uh, so if I really wanted to be okay with the nine to one rule, then having this 52% come from YouTube might not be a bad thing, but I would definitely want to increase the percentage of um, submissions from other people. Of course, even without using this history function, if your Reddit account looks something like this, where you can clearly see that the thumbnail is the same over and over, and then it changes to a new thumbnail and it's the same over and over, then the, the moderator or the person who's looking at your account isn't going to even need to um, check the Reddit history to know that there's something amiss. So you do want to kind of diversify. So for example, what I've started doing very recently, ever since someone said that they don't, they don't like videos at all, is I've tried to get in the habit of posting a variety of different content. So I want to get into the final thing, I guess, from my list, which was follow the rules of the subreddit. So you'll see this submission on Steven Universe has 308 upvotes and it's a wallpaper that I found. And if I switch from new to top, so you can see the ranking, you'll see that in order, I posted this yesterday and yet it is the second highest ranking submission that I've gotten. But you'll see that there is no link here because I didn't follow the rules of this subreddit. So the rules are you shouldn't upload a picture directly if you can instead post to uh, the actual Tumblr or whatever of the original creators. You'll see that the third one again is uh, for Homestuck. And let me just click on this to show you that it did not take any work for me to get this submission. It's just on Twitter, there happened to be trends for there's nothing more sexier than wizards, which is, of course, very applicable for this character from Homestuck. And, you know, that's a uh, 200 plus karma. Um, as I go down the list, again, I just found a picture of a husky that was really excited. And uh, that was number one, two, three, four, five, I guess. A uh, picture of Legos with a flowery icon. That's number four. The top cover 
of any of my Reddit submissions is actually someone else's cover. So VG Cello Music did um, Animal Crossing's 1AM, which you should definitely check out regardless of whether you listen to um, Animal Crossing music or play Animal Crossing or not, because it's just a really beautiful piece. But yeah, that's 100 Karma. And then next is whenever um, Toxic X Eternity did his April Fools for the metal tribute to the iPhone ringtone, that made it. You have to go quite a ways down before you even find uh, any of my posts. It's very tough to get these videos to get high amounts of karma there. So if you can find photos or pictures or paintings or whatever, when you do that, you can get so much karma and build that rapport in a community uh, a lot easier than you can with videos. And eventually, one of these days, I'm going to have enough diversity that my YouTube percentage goes way down. And that way, whenever I post one of my own videos in one of these subreddits, people probably won't care, but uh, they also won't be trying to take it down. So that's just something to think about. Uh, I would like to know your thoughts. Um, do you try to post other kinds of content on Reddit or are you, are you just using it mostly for your videos? I mean, do you kind of recognize? Have you ever looked at your submissions? Does it look good? Does it look bad? Are you trying to improve? Uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much. Thank you.